What's going on guys? I'm Zach from the Lumios Post where we talk about all things Pokemon and today we will be talking about everything wrong with Pokemon Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Now we've been doing this series for a while now. Be sure to check it out if you haven't. I think we've got some great stuff in there. But here we are, we're at Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. We've really come so far, haven't we? Now let's just get in with everything these games just really screwed up on. Okay, so before we begin, let me just uh, start Sun and Moon. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Dear God, this exposition is really long. Hang on. Okay, I, I guess we're just going to have to not play through sun and moon first because the exposition is so dang long and so we're, we're going to go ahead and let that be our number one thing the exposition in sun and moon and ultra sun ultra moon is awful it's like every second you get a chance to breathe you walk three steps more exposition okay well i'll deal with this for five minutes then you're done let's walk three steps oh more exposition it's awful it's horrible it is the worst thing about these games, I have attempted to like replay these games so many times and the exposition always makes me need to take like a day long break from these games. I just, I can't stand it. It's so aggravating. It's unnecessarily long. But yeah, that's, that's my longest rant, I'm sure. Okay, <laughs> next thing. So then we have Island Trials. Now look, I loved the concept of Island Trials when they first announced that there will be these island trials instead of gyms. I was actually kind of ecstatic about it because I was like, you know, this is a region based off of Hawaii. That works so well. We should totally have this. We should definitely do these trials instead of gyms. But they weren't much, honestly. They, you know, the captains kind of didn't even really feel like super important characters. You know, I've talked about in the past how gym leaders, some of them just feel like glorified trainers well these people just feel like glorified npcs that you don't even battle because you you really don't even battle many of them or at least it's optional if you do battle them and it just just seems like a waste of some really good character designs and honestly uh like i said it's a really cool concept but i just think it was a very poorly executed concept it was just too easy i guess they should have incorporated more battles into it because i get that the puzzles have to be geared more towards children they can't give a puzzle made for 20 plus year olds and then all the eight year olds playing the game can't get through it i understand that but i just i don't know i wish that they had found some middle ground like i feel there are with gems so the next thing is going to be not enough Z-Move users. I talked about this in X and Y. I feel like the gimmick should be used by a lot of characters. I think that that just makes sense. I th and we just, we didn't see a lot of Z-Move users. You do have your rival will use a Z-Move. And uh, you will have the trial captains, or not trial captains, excuse me. The Island Kahunas will use Z-Moves and... You will also have the Elite Four members use Z-moves. But, that's it. And you figure there's all these island trials to get the Z-crystals, but you don't have the Pokemon using a Z-move against you. And I just, again, I, I think that's a waste. It, it, this is something that they made, especially with Z-moves, they made it so uh, synonymous with the culture of Alola, and yet nobody here is using it. That's kind of lame, and... I don't think that's how the gimmick should be treated, especially since we're now in a world where it seems the gimmick is kind of going to stick around for that game, and that's it. So the next thing is going to be that, and this is personal opinion, this is going to be the most controversial thing on this list, but I don't feel that they did a good job capturing Hawaii. I feel that Hawaii is super uh, vibrant and beautiful and I just didn't feel like this region was very vibrant or beautiful. Like, especially Pony Island was incredibly bland with color. And I get that's based off the island of Kauai. And there's the Waimea Canyon, which is supposed to be, you know, that's a large part of the uh, uh, Pony Island. But I just think that even that island is so much more vibrant and beautiful and colorful 
than these games showed it to be and i just like i said i feel like it was a very poor representation of hawaii that's one man's opinion i do think that ultra sun ultra moon did improve on this a little but it still just wasn't up to my standards i would say the first island maybe the first two islands were up to my standards but after that it, it didn't feel like hawaii other than everyone yelling aloha at you which was clearly based off aloha so yeah the next thing is something that is wrong with sun and moon ultra sun ultra moon and apparently every game that came after it because they really just uh they set this horrible precedent and that is the fishing spots this is another nitpicky one but i don't like that i have to find little bubbles and that's where i can fish it's a fishing rod i can toss the line out and any body of water and try to catch fish i don't have to look for bubbles i just thought that was stupid it kind of broke the immersion of it and uh, fishing was something that i always liked in pokemon because it was something that was very immersive and they broke it here and that carried over into sword and shield and yeah i just i don't like it the next thing is going to be not a compelling rival look i love house character design but you just he wasn't a compelling rival he's not someone i wanted to be and i don't think that a rival has to be a jerk to make you want to beat them i don't think that at all i think that barry i've said this in past videos i think that barry's the perfect example of this barry isn't a jerk but he's so like in your face about i'm gonna beat you that you want to beat him you have a drive to beat him with how it's just kind of when you're battling him you don't have your blood pumping like it is against barry or blue slash gary or silver it's just kind of like you're battling a regular route trainer and that sucked and they did have gladian but you didn't battle gladian much so i in my opinion at least so i don't think that gladian was a substitute for how much how was a problem or rather is uh personality and its lack of drive in you was a problem well there you have it guys those are my thoughts on everything that's wrong with pokemon sun moon ultra sun and ultra moon be sure to let me know in the comments below what you disagree with me on maybe you have some more stuff you'd like to add to this list be sure to do that again in the comments below also be sure to like subscribe and hit the bell for notifications we are going to be doing more of this series and we've got a ton of other fun videos so if you're new to this channel please subscribe it would mean a lot to me thank you very much and until next time i will see all of you later